Hey guys, I'm here with a review uh, for you guys. It's the Netgear WNR3500L, uh, which will be replacing my D-Link uh, DIR825. Um, the the, the D-Link uh, lasted about I think a little bit over a year, but then, then suddenly uh, for the past month, it's been dropping a lot of my connections, my wireless connections. And uh, <clears throat> just this uh, past weekend, um, it, I couldn't even connect it through, a, you know, a wired connection. So then I looked online, and it seems that there was a lot of problems with the, um, the DIR825, which uh, kind of bumps me up because I've always been a fan of D-Link. But after this, um, I, I have to try something new. So uh, I, I searched online. People were saying a lot of good things about uh, Netgear. Um, it was it was either uh, this one or the uh, uh, the 3700, which is a dual band. And um, my my D-Link was a dual band, and I found that I wasn't really using the uh, five megahertz uh, channel that much because I found it a lot weaker. So this one is a, a single uh, the single channel uh, 2.4 uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Sorry, uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. <clears throat> and um, yeah, um, I heard a, heard a lot of good things about this. It's uh, open source, which means there's a lot of uh, third-party firmware out there available. Um, so let's start off with the uh, unboxing. Oh, sorry, uh, before we start off with the unboxing, it's a uh, so it's a wireless and uh, gigabit router. So there's four points, uh, four four ports that are gigabit connections. Uh, there's a USB connection for you to, to attach a. Uh, a storage device, but I believe uh, only one person can access it at a time on the network. Um, uh, and then, uh, so I'll just unbox it, and we'll show all the uh, components and and ports and everything. All right. Uh, this is the uh, Gigabit uh, WNR3500L. Um, so let's see. Start opening it up. So right out of the box, you got your resource CD. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, installation guide, maybe I'll, I'll go through that. Um, power plug, which is, uh, I was hoping that it would be the, the slim fat, the slim form where, uh, you know, it, it goes, instead of the bar coming out this way, it comes out this way, or like straight down, I should say. Uh, so I'm a little bit disappointed about that because this is, now this is going to block <coughs> one of my plugs. When I put it beside, you know, the other plug beside is going to be blocked by this block by here, but I don't know, whatever. And we got their Ethernet cable, which is probably, they're probably going to give, yeah, a Cat5, uh, which is, I don't know, it's it's always disappointing when, you know, uh, a router offers uh, gigabit um, ports, but they don't p provide a, a Cat6. I understand it's a more expensive, but, you know, you're, you're paying for, you're paying for a product well, you know, might as well, you know, provide the uh, accessories to make the best use of the of the product. <clears throat> and then you have the router itself and the stand. Okay, so on the front here you have your, uh, I think your click and connect, uh, you know, quick connection button, you know, but um, for, for people who just want uh, a quick easy setup, adding their devices. Um, and on the front there's some uh, LED information here for the four ports, um, your power supply, uh, your activity or your wireless, and I'm not sure what that one is. But. <clears throat> nice glossy finish. On the back you have, uh, on the back you have your power supply, your on and off button, port for your internet, the four gigabit ports, USB port for a storage device, and the uh, uh, reset factory button. So uh, let's get this hooked up. Uh, there's no uh, external antennas. Uh, I believe there's three internal ones in there. I uh, just uh, got to double check the specs in the box. But let's get the uh, stand on there. And 
that's pretty much what it looks like. So this uh, router will be re replacing my um, D-Link uh, DIR. I can focus in on that. Nope, not gonna focus. DIR uh, 825. Um, this is a uh, supposed to be uh, you know uh, a high-end gaming <clears throat> gaming router, and it, it worked well when I had it. It's just uh, it just start started to die in the last uh, uh, month or or two, and then finally just gave up. I I can't even get access to the um, <clears throat> to the administration site uh, to upgrade the firmware. It's uh, it sucks. Uh, and it's past its warranty, so uh, I'm a big fan of D-Link, but this one let me down, so I, I need to just try a different company. So I went with this uh, Netgear. Um, I haven't had any experience with Netgear, so I did the smart thing and decided to get a uh, extended warranty with it. Which whatever, it only cost me ten dollars for an extra two years. Uh, fact, uh, manufacturer warranty on this is one year. Uh, so I'm gonna set it up and. Uh, go through with you all the features. Alright, so here we have the uh, Netgear Router Manager. Um, it's a pretty basic setup. Uh, at the beginning when you log in, um, it'll automatically look for a new firmware. Um, so let's just go through the menu here on the left side. Setup Wizard, it's basic, uh, uh, where it automatically checks, checks your uh, uh, connection type, if it's uh, broadband or whatever. Um, adding a WPS client, it's a self-explanatory. If your device is at WPS uh, compatible, just use this and then you can, you know, do, do the whole setup to automatically connect the device with your router. Uh, setup uh, is basic, uh, basic things, uh, wireless settings, you know, set your password and everything. Guest network, if you want, you can turn on a guest network which uh, here allows access allows the visitors access to your home uh, if you don't want them to know what your secure your personal security key it's just like a you know temporary access um, a USB source this is uh, I'm not sure if this uh, if you can access a printer through this um, I know for sure you can access a hard a hard drive uh, but the most interesting thing here is that the advanced settings you can set it up so that you can access whatever is you know connected to the USB uh, anywhere using uh, these connections, uh, HTTP, uh, FTP, whatever. So I, th I found this uh, to be really useful once I connect the hard drive to it. Uh, contact filtering, uh, the logging system is pretty cool. Um, here uh, you can check if there's any DOS attacks or port scans on your router, so that's uh, pretty useful. Um, block sites just lets you uh, block whatever you know sites if you want by keyword or by a, a, a certain IP address you can also uh, um, block services you can add here you can see if I want to block uh, certain uh, services that are running maybe I have uh, like MSN if you want to block that you know whatever you want that's that's good um, schedule you can schedule a time for when these services are blocked um, and also you can send an email on uh, you know when once somebody tries to visit a block site on your network uh, router status which you, you see the IP address and everything attached devices tells you what's uh, connected to the to the router uh, backup self-explanatory set password self-explanatory router upgrade this is where you can manually uh, update um, your router with uh, the OEM firmware or you can use the uh, uh, open firmware available out there I believe there is uh, tomato uh, DDWRT and OpenWRT um, and then the advanced settings uh, it's pretty standard wireless settings and here you can you know, set your router pin um, or, or change it if you want. I set up an access list uh, if you want it to, to you know, certainly certain MAC addresses to be able to connect to your router. Uh, repeating wireless repeating function, port forwarding, it's pretty standard uh, one setup, and setup. Uh, you can set uh, the um, range of uh, IP values that it'll give out 
um, QoS setup, this is your standard um, setting up the, the bandwidth limit for your uh, router. Uh, dynamic DNS, that's pretty self-explanatory as well. Uh, UN, UN, or UPNP, that's uh, self-explanatory as well. Uh, IPv6, not, I don't use that yet. Uh, traffic meter, something uh, uh, that I haven't had before. I, I might try that. You can see, you know, what kind of, how much data you're using up uh, per day or, or each month. So I'll probably check it out. I'm just in, uh, a little bit curious if this will use up any of the um, uh, power from, uh, from the net here because there is a processor in this uh, unit. Uh, so we'll see about that. Uh, USB settings. What you know? What out devices are allowed to be connected to the net here? And that's about it. And uh, if you were interested in using um, a different uh, program, you can go to a site called My Open Router. And basically, you go to the download section, uh, and you select uh, I think all products. Yeah. And then here you've got the WNR3500L, just click on that and it'll take you to all the different ones you can use. Here we have DDWRT, Tomato, OpenWRT, FreeWRT, so there's, there's plenty to, to choose from. Um, the main uh, difference is uh, with uh, the OpenWare and the, the, the um, OEM firmware is the OEM. It's it's fast and stable, and it's perfect for you know the everyday user. Uh, but for people requiring more flexibility, more features such as um, uh, X, uh, you know, enterprise uh, class monitoring support or a uh, VPN, then you'll you'll want to look into using one of these. Um, I hear that Tomato and DDWRT are also uh, both very good. Maybe Tomato might be a, a bit faster. All right. So uh, overall, I, I've been using the router for about uh, a week, no, two weeks, and it's been uh, good. I set it up so that um, only certain MAC addresses connect, can connect to it, and um, the my wireless uh, uh, range have been pretty good. Uh, I have it right now in the in the kitchen living room uh, where there's there's interference with the microwave, uh, TVs, uh, fridge, uh, all, you know all that stuff that you keep in in the um, kitchen, and uh, can, and connecting it to multiple computers uh, wirelessly uh, through the the same floor um, have been having no problems. Full bars, uh, same as uh, downstairs in the lower floor. Uh, we're getting about uh, three or four bars, so it has a good range to it. Um, I highly recommend this router for you know the basic user. Uh, let's see my um, uh, my, uh, my my D-Link uh, a DIR A eight twenty five router. Uh, it's a it's supposed to be you know uh, a high end router. I paid over a hundred dollars, I believe, one thirty for this, and um, the Netgear uh, router only cost me, I think, 65 bucks, and it's working perfectly, uh, which is exactly what I wanted. I don't, I don't have any, you know, fancy needs for any FTP stuff. But if you do, you know, want those functionalities, uh, VPN, uh, you know, uh, monitor, so you know, advanced monitoring systems, things like that, I, you know, you can get the third-party uh, software like Tomato and. Um, you know, DD uh, WRT firmwares. So um, I, I recommend this one. Uh, if it does, ra you know, crap out on me, I will let everyone you know. Uh, so thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please rate and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks a lot.